We're about to use Windows 10 Remote Desktop Connection to connect to another Windows 10 computer, and I'm going to show you how to add printing capability into that other computer. So let's click on Show Options, and then from here we're going to click on the Local Resources tab at the top. Now we want to make sure that the Printers box is checked before we get started. But that may not be the end of it. Now we need to go ahead and click Connect and connect to our computer. So from here, we're going to go into Control Panel, which we can do just by typing Control Panel in the search box. And then we're going to go to where we have devices and printers. Now we see all these different devices and printers, but we're going to see something new, and that is we're going to see printers that are redirected. So anytime it says redirected, it means it's coming from our host computer, the computer we use to connect to the remote computer. So we see all these different remote computers that are redirected printers. So if we want to print to any of these, it should print fine. However, what may happen is you may see some of these redirected computers that have a gray icon instead of the colorful icons that you're seeing here. So if you see that, it means that your local computer, the computer you use to connect to the remote desktop, is working fine. But the remote computer with remote desktop on it, which in this case is the one you're looking at now, doesn't have the print driver it needs. So for instance, let's say that it's going to be an HP OfficeJet 6500. So this particular one right here. So if it doesn't have the print driver that we need, we can just go to hp.com slash support. And then from here, we can download the computer or the printer that we want for our computer. So we do 6500. Then we can see all the different options for the 6500. We see there's the all-in-one printer. We click on that and then it will show us the print driver. We can download the print driver and then it will go ahead and it will work both in our host computer, the one we're using to connect to the remote desktop and the remote computer that we've just connected to as well. So most of the time this just comes down to making sure the box is checked and the print driver is installed on both computers before you get started.